Niemand. 
knetet uns wieder aus Erde und Lehm. Niemand bespricht unseren Staub. Niemand. No one presses me again. Out of clay and earth. No one discusses my dust. No one. Nadie. No one talks about my ash. No one. Gelobt seist du niemand. Praise be to you. No one. I will be, I am nothing, absolutely nothing. I'm talking to you, no one, don't you see? Nichts. Waren wir, sind wir, werden wir bleiben, nichts. Blühend. The no one's rose. Blooming. Niemand. Blooming. The no one's rose. I will to bloom. No one. Mit dem Griffel Seelen hell. Mit dem Staub fahren. Himmels Wüst, no one with my silver stylus. So bright. <laughs> From the place where I collect my pollen so it can move into my ovaries. No one with my silver pen. I will to write and write and write no one can't you see i will to write write with my silver pen and my pollen heavenly wild i will write no Du 
zij wie doeg, niemand stand op Jeruzalem. My red crown from the purple word that I sang. Oh, over, over the thorn, the sting I sang over and over the sting. It was a cold Saturday, the 29th of May, Lawrenceville, Pennsylvania. That's an industrial area of Pittsburgh. I made an appointment with Dee Briggs to visit her in her studio. You have to make an appointment because this is a dangerous place. She was waiting for me, found the warehouse, the wall, big brick wall. And then there was a door, a normal door. It was open. And I walked through that door. And Anything and everything that sort of buttoned my soul together was popped. I was struck by the immensity of this warehouse, 1,900 square meters of space. Dee was over in the corner. It was Saturday. She was working alone that day. She was grinding. First of all, I just had to stutter in my soul what I saw. This was the place where the H.K. Porter locomotives built their saddle tank four-wheel locomotives. 8,000 pieces of these locomotives sent all around the world from 1866 to 1950. H.K. Porter. There was a railroad track going right through the warehouse. I'd never seen a space like this in my life. Dee was over in the corner. I'd made a lunch. She came over. And I was still stuttering. <laughs> what I saw in front of me, Dee was all in her garb. I had my protective gear on as well, earplugs helmet, shoes, anti-flame clothes. But all of a sudden, I was afraid. I wasn't afraid that I was going to get hurt. He's a nice woman. But <laughs> I've never seen anything like this before. Fear, like, like ohne angst. Gebe es keine Ich-Entwicklung. That kind of fear. We'll call it good fear. Like John Lewis. I don't know if you know who John Lewis was. A great peace activist. John Lewis, a black man. He marched. He was beaten to death in Selma. He 
said, we got to get into good trouble. So I say, we got we to gotta say yes to the good fear. Because how are we going to get any sort of knowledge of who we are? Because we don't know who we are anyway. So the fear started. And I said, come on in, boy. Fear. Phobos, the Greeks call him. Fear. He can turn his head around like an animal and see what's coming behind you. I can't do that. <laughs> Fear. He's the son of the god of war, Ares, and the goddess of love and beauty. So you talk about polarities. War, love, Aphrodite, beauty. Wow, my gosh. And then he's the twin brother of Demos, terror. And their sister is Harmonia. <laughs> so look at what we got going here. Polarities, contrast, war, love, beauty, harmony, terror, fear. So I said, OK, fear. Come on in. Be my bread. I will eat you. So, fear, miedo, angst, became my bread. Four and a half months, I was eaten in fear. Good fear, right? Good fear. Ohne Angst gebe es keine Ich Entwicklung. Good fear. And then, Fear became my life. My life of life. Fear. <laughs> and fear became my door. I just walked right in. I said, hi, fear, I'm here. And fear came my shepherd, my good shepherd, my guide. Fear just took me to that studio, just walked in. I just said, OK, here I am, Fear. Teach me. And Fear became my my resurrection. Anastasia. And fear became my way, my truth, and my life. And fear became my wine, my good wine. I was drinking that fear. Ohne Angst gebe es keine Ich Entwicklung. Good fear, good fear, good angst. Became my friends. Thanks to what I met in this 1,900 square meter warehouse studio of deep breaks. Fear.
part F, tube, top and bot plates, assembly, diagram, left hand spiral, project, Norfolk, Southern Sculpture, part F, assembly, drawings, client, D, Briggs. Field, splice per detail, 1, F, 5. Impact, damper, dims, noted, measured along top corner of tube. I don't understand anything. <laughs> and you know, Dee told me in our first conversation, she said, Gail, if I were working with feathers, I could pick them up. I'm at the mercy of weight and gravity. This piece weighs 72,000 pounds of steel. That's heavy. <laughs> 37 tons of steel. And it's got to be precise. This thing has got to fit. It's now been erected in Atlanta, Georgia. But these plates had to fit right into the plates that were designed on top of the underground parking lot in front of these headquarters for the Norfolk Southern Railroad. Everything had to fit precisely. There are no mistakes here. Typical field splice construction of fixture Plate F1, end prep at base plate. Plate F2, end prep at base plate. Plate F3, end prep at base plate. Plate F4, end prep at base plate. Not only that, this is only one tenth of the drawings. These were all created by engineers. Five engineers on this project, five welders, six grinders. And Deanna, if she wasn't there sweeping up those filings, it eats into the cement. She's got a 24-7 job, Deanna, and she gets paid high wages. Dee is a fair employer. She pays her people. And then there's the Haas, the heat-affected zone. You ever heard of that? Heat-affected zone. You saw the heat, yeah. So welding is a high heat process. You gotta melt the base metal. You gotta provide for this pool such that the other metal can go in and it can solidify itself. And then the problem is if there, the whole, every seam is sonogrammed. Like a woman has a child in the womb, and the doctor takes the gel, puts it on her womb, and sonograms. Every single seam had to be sonogrammed. And if there were the least little hole or imperfection, it had to be done again. Welded, ground, again. Precise. Precision. And I saw in this a love, a love stronger than steel. This woman works 24 7, grinding, grinding. When I met her, she said, Gail, I'm not a man, I'm not a woman, I'm a sculptor. And I believed her. She is a sculptor, and she loves what she does. My work is not whimsical, not without a clear intellectual foundation. And you know, it's like since the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of heaven will reveal itself through the will. This is will work. This woman's doing. This is will. So she made a drawing, went down to this competition in Atlanta, 
where the Norfolk Southern Railroad wanted to erect this new building and they were looking for someone to do a sculpture. So she goes down with her jibber jabber and the CEO of this company knows absolutely nothing about art, says, I want that. <laughs> so it took her four months to figure out what her jibber jabber was all about. And then a year and a half to construct this thing. A year and a half. It's the largest piece, it's the most painful piece, she told me. The engineer made mistakes. Paul, one of the welders, got pissed off with the engineer. He made mistakes. One day I walked in and Dee had to go to this special, special shop and buy a really expensive drill and undo everything that Paul had done. It was unending. It was unending. And then, folks, steel can gallop like a horse. So, where these 12 rings fit into the earth on those plates, right, there is a special cantilevered spiraled coil that goes up to a box, and in the box is a steel ball. So, the wind comes on one of these rings, and this cantilevered spiraled steel coil hooked into the ball in the box keeps the wind from causing great tension to just tip the whole thing over. Precision. I began to ask myself, are we that precise as artists? This has to be exact. Precise. And then, you know, where does an idea like this come from? The world as a perception of the idea, independent of the image. So she's got an idea, there's no image. And in that nothingness, no image, idea, that's where it starts. That's the content of art. Kasimir Malevich. And then this whole thing has to be sandblasted. So you've got all these rings, 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 and they pitch a tent, a big tent in the warehouse, and these things are hoisted up, lifted down, the tent is put over, and then Star blast, sacks of star blast, and pshaw, this force, rutile, leukotzine, circon, these crystals that have been made in the belly of the earth four billion years ago, these tiny little crystals are pshaw. And then she's clean. She's all cleaned up, ready for the patina. One step after another, that just busted my buttons. I'd go down there for hours and just watch. I wasn't allowed to get near. And I listened. I thought, what's the name of this piece? I listened and listened and listened. And I came up with, ka, ah. Just carve into the earth, open to the earth, and then a great accentuation, ta, more earth, and then you just open to the heavens. Kata. I fell in love with Kata. I was afraid. This was something I could never have imagined. If we were working with feathers, we could just pick them up. <laughs> but this is weight. This is gravity.
struck numb by awe, except night's absolute. Taste its never before nebulous genesis. Far, immediate spaces that make no sense. Formulate, fumble, forget. Fear necessitates. Fear necessitates. Fear necessitates. Departure and return mean erase. The remembered erase the body whose hands hold the hose that waters gardens nasturtium hibiscus, luminous, orange, nasturtium, flowers, garnish, each green leaf, summer salad, erase the body whose hand holds the hose that waters hibiscus, luminous orange, nasturtium, flowers garnish each green leaf, summer salad. Recognize you are not who you thought you were. I am not who I thought I am. Out of my element, I ask, is the stair here? Where's the stair? The stair's right there. But it goes nowhere. And the abyss? The abyss? The abyss you can't miss. It's right where you are. A step down. The stair. Step down. An angel pierces my larynx. Its lance points toward a shield that reflects an upside down Jerusalem. Apocalypse on its head. In an attempt to sink, or is it rise? The sea of glass. 
the beasts want to me as their friend, want into the cross-stitch pattern my cardinal red wedding gown. I accept you be who you are always. I accept. I say, beast, come on in. I accept. I want to get to know you. Because if I don't know you, I don't know who I am. Come on in. Trust. Invisible pluralities, the venery of root and stem, the magnificence of immense, not nice, not sweet, awe. Oh. My inspiration. Never complete. Never complete. Take fear and dredge. Blizzards zero. Disinherited hollow. You. Who you are always. I am not who I thought I was. If I were working with feathers, I could just pick them up. <laughs> Stay close. Stay close. All of my substances, granules of death and silica, sun and quartz, fuse into frozen flames of fulgurite. My concern with precision. Flight and word.
the wound instructs Movement instills silence. Washes. Washes Washes August 5th, 2021, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Dear D, if I could sing, I would belt out a psalm, hymn, a hallelujah of the greatest gratitude to you. You created Kata. Wednesday, August 4th, the day John and Haley visit your Lawrenceville Warehouse studio, you say, Kata is her name. The name whose sounds I listened for, for months. Kata, yeah. I say your name out loud. You affirm I got it right. I have been able to enter the force eight wind of your vision, the hurricane strength of your bent steel 12 ring limbed kata, the hours, days, Rebecca, Gwen, Paul, Davy, grind, the into the night hours, days, weekends alone, you de grind in order that kata's curves within curved steel can lift. I see it. Steel can, I witness. Steel breathes. After sacks of star blast abrasive strike, Kata's skin with quartz, rutile, circon, leucotine, her shins, curves, legs, limbs turn pearl pale smooth. She's clear and clean. Then with the finest of water mist, you spray, Deanna sprays over, underneath, on top, all sides, over and over, at least 500 times, you say. Katas, steel, unblemished, begins as soft sun rising to blush. Without Katadi, I would never have come to this awe. This awe that breaks, untethers, unravels me, nor would I have experienced this fear. Good fear, good fear. September 14th, you are still in Atlanta trying to erect Kata on the plaza in front of the Norfolk Southern Railroad's new headquarters. It's been over three weeks. You tell me, lots of time alone, Gail, the piece is now called, Can't You See? I realize she's got two names, D. The above part, the rings we can see, and the invisible underneath part. You name the above, I the below. Can't you see? Kata. Megalune hei tsuhemu. 
I can sing with my limbs, I can sing, I can break wide my soul, hips, heart, lips, open in order for who am I? Stands, polished, ground, grounded, held, hoisted, floor, swept, star, blast, welded, wheel, barrowed, patinaed, spray, mist, flat bed, trucked, brought, broke, awoke, home. Broke, awoke. Home. My gratitude to you, Dee.